This is the Apple Vision Pro. It's the newest product line to be announced by Apple, and they say it's the future. We believe Apple Vision Pro is a revolutionary product. But that got me thinking, what would a commercial for the Apple Vision Pro even look like? Today, we find out. My friends and I spent an entire day creating a commercial for the Apple Vision Pro from scratch with no budget. Let's get started. First things first, the goggles. The Apple Vision Pro isn't even released yet, so we have to make our own. We decided that a pair of ski goggles would be perfect, but we needed a pair that looked exactly like the Apple Vision Pro. So we went out and bought a brand new pair that were an exact match. But these lenses weren't looking the exact same, so we had to change that. I'd say that's close enough. Now that we got the goggles, the next step was finding the right props and costume. We hit up every thrift store and even a garage sale to find everything. Once that was done, it was time to get shooting. Okay, we are at the first location here to shoot the first scene of the day and it's this lovely boardroom here. We've rented this boardroom out, but we only have it for like half an hour, so we do have to kind of be quick. Steven's running around right there, getting everything set up. Let's get started. Okay, for this first scene, I need to be in uh, business attire. So I've got myself a white shirt here. I'm not really gonna be changing my shorts here just because uh, there's no point. You're not gonna see my legs. Okay, now it's time to get the first scene of the day. T minus, uh, we got about 15 minutes, not even. So we gotta move quick. Steve, can I be off with you? We're gonna be done in like 10 minutes. Thank you, sorry. Okay, that's a wrap on the boardroom. Time to get out of here. We've got like three minutes before we gotta be out of here. We're just, uh, we're now just tossing everything into bags and just gonna run out because we don't have any time. We're good to go. Once we finished up in the boardroom, it was time to move on to the next location. Now this ad that we're making is slightly different than a lot of our other spec ads that we make because it's very dialogue heavy. And we have a ton of lines that we have to say as well as there's some acting mixed in there, which is not really our strong suit. Okay, we've come to the second location here, which is actually just kind of our living room basement here. This is where we actually normally film a lot of our videos. You notice we typically have a bunch more stuff in the background here. And uh, what we've done is we've actually taken all that and kind of shoved it away in here we uh it's pretty tight in here now but now it is nice and clean in this room and it looks so much better okay so we're pretty much all set up here we've got the lighting pretty much dialed in the only thing that's left to do is change wardrobe so just give me a second here okay there we go let's get shooting okay we were just about to start filming and then we realized we actually still need to move this shelf because it's not looking quite right so uh here we go these things are extremely heavy Support me happily. Okay, if uh, filmmaking doesn't work out, we could both be movers. Okay, so one of the last pieces we need is to black out this window here. And a cool little trick is that if you take some water, spray it on the window, tin foil will stick right to it. Ta da! Good to go, let's go. Okay, and these are our Apple Vision Pro. So essentially they're just ski goggles that we've spray painted the lens black on so you can't see through them and it gives that, I don't know, white black lens look. $3,500 please. So with everything in place, it's finally time to get filming. First scene complete, moving on to the second scene. For the next shot, we've got the camera here on a slider. Steve's gonna be pushing in when I'm sitting Right there. Say that. Say that. For the next shot, we're doing what's called, I think it's called a parallax shot. I don't really know what it's called. But what we do is we push the camera in as we're zooming it out and it provides this really unique angle where the background kind of collapses away and it has this really unique look. Uh, if you've seen the movie Jaws, you would have seen it in that movie. We're gonna give it a shot. We got the camera set up here on the slider and we got Steven sitting here as the subject, so. Let's get started. There we go, I think we got it. Nice. Just like that, we have finished the final scene here, so it's time to move to the next location. Now, another hurdle that we were running into was just the number of locations that we were using. We have five separate locations for a 60 second video, which means that there was a ton of setup and set design. Steven and I have come out to the forest here as our next location. And this is where we're gonna be getting all the scenes of like, once we kind of like are using the Apple Vision Pro, the, like there's, there's gonna be like windows kind of whizzing around and we can move them and yeah. Like you've probably seen that, uh, the Iron Man scene from the, uh, I think Iron Man 2, where he's like moving things around. 
Wake up, Daddy Sean. Welcome home, sir. So we're gonna try and do something like that and uh, it should be pretty cool. One slight problem we're kind of running into though is that it's supposed to start raining. Uh, the clouds are looking very ominous, so we kind of have to be quick and hopefully we don't get rained out. Steven is getting this set up for the match cut. Steven, how's it going? It's going well. The sweats are starting to make their way in. It's very humid outside and I'm wearing quite a lot of clothing, so I'm cooking. Time for the first take. starting to rain, we gotta hurry. We're moving on to the final shot out here in the woods and for this, it's going to be a POV shot. So I have the camera here, it has the 12 millimeter lens on it and I'm gonna be holding this under Steven's chin so we can kind of get that POV perspective. We're not gonna be whipping out the big POV rig that you may have seen in some of our previous videos because it's not worth it. We're here just to get one shot. So let's get to it. A little bit of uh, brotherly love over here. That sounds horrendous. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, rain's coming in hot. I'm starting to put everything beside the, uh, oh my God, it's really actually starting. I'm gonna put everything by the tree just to protect it from the rain. We have one last shot we need to get, so we're just gonna squeeze it out and then get out of here. Typically, when we do these spec ad videos, we try to do them from start to finish, all within 24 hours. This means that we don't typically have enough time to do any VFX shots. But for this one, we wanted it to be good, so we decided to do a couple and they took so long. And also, we didn't even know if they were going to work or not when we were filming the scenes. Okay, we've arrived to the next location and this one is uh, in an office. So we are currently in our office at our house. We're just getting a setup here with this ancient monitor and then the camera's gonna go back there and film facing towards us. So we want to have like a sliding shot, but Steven and I are both in the frame. So what we've done is set up this contraption with a drill, with a drill bit, with a string that goes over to the slider so that I'm gonna tape the trigger down and it will drag the camera over. Obviously if we had three people, this would be so much easier, but we don't, so here we are. <laughs> Okay, that is a wrap on the office internet scenes. Time to move on to the final scene, which I think is actually gonna be my favorite. And we're sending it all the way back to the year like 1890 or something like that. Okay, we're now at the final location and it's right here in the shed. Hey. We've got this piece of plywood here with these candles on it. And the idea is that we're gonna have the light bulb coming from right in the middle here. Steve and I are then gonna be sitting on each side and we'll have these candles lit and it'll kind of provide a really nice ambiance, essentially. I am now in costume here with my suit vest on. Steven is in his costume. The inventor of light bulb is here. And we are finally ready to actually start filming and go for the first take. Let's do this. Candlelit dinner here. I know, it's the ambiance here is immaculate. Okay, we are gonna do the first take, so let's go. It's cold. Okay, so I think we got the first shot. Time to move on to the next. Uh, no, I don't think so. No, I don't think so. What did it do? Okay, that is a complete wrap on the Apple Vision Pro spec ad. We started at like six o'clock in the morning and went till 11.30 at night. So it was a completely full day, but I am super happy with how it turned out. Now, if you're new here, make sure you go down and subscribe and leave a like because it really helps us out. Also join the email newsletter linked down below where we teach you how to work with your dream brands as a filmmaker. And without further ado, here is the Apple Vision Pro commercial. It's called the light bulb. Eh, no, I don't think so. Come on, it's light. But we got candles. Now we don't need them. This will never catch on. What a waste of time. Is everything all right at home? What is this? It's called the internet. The what? It's the internet. This is the internet? No, 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 no. It's all over. It connects us. Connects us? Like, what do you mean? Like, what does it do? You can send messages. You can access information. Eh. I don't know, seems like kind of a fad. And I'm calling it the iPhone. Mm. Steve, can I be honest with you? It stinks. One of the worst ideas I've ever heard. No one's gonna buy this thing. Check this out, it's the new Vision Pro. 
What do you do with it? Watch this. So, what do you think? Mmm, this ain't it. And I'm never wrong about these things.